Hey, what's up everyone? My name is David and I am a musician and a music producer, but on this YouTube channel, I often do tutorials about how to make music. And part of that involves showing you how to do things in my DAW of choice, Cubase. Now, if you've ever tried to do screen capture of Cubase or a lot of other DAWs in Windows, you'll find out that it's more difficult than you thought. You'll set things up, you'll have your screen recorder running, and then there's no sound. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can get sound out of any DAW into any screen capture program so y'all can start making tutorials of your own, teaching the world what you know. And then I'll show you my whole tutorial production workflow. So let's get into it. So the reason why uh, most screen recorders won't record sound out of Cubase is because Cubase is has exclusive control over your driver. I'm using a Focusrite interface. And so if we play this Groove Agent, you can't hear it. I mean, you might be able to hear the bleed from my headphones into it, but you can't actually hear it. Uh, the reason why is because the Focusrite driver, Cubase captures that exclusively. So what you need to use is a different audio system to route sound out of Cubase and then be able to use it as an accepted input in your screen recording software. And the package I use for that is called Voice Meter. Now Voice Meter here, you can see the hardware input is uh, accepting my voice, but it's not activated. But this is accepting input from Cubase and it is activated. So if I go to studio, studio setup, and I switch my VST audio system from my sound card driver to voice meter, virtual ASIO, and I switch, all of a sudden you'll be able to hear sound out of Cubase. And so voice meter makes this possible by sending the sound from a virtual input, routing it out into your screen recorder, which your interface can't actually do by itself. So this software package is great. Now my old workflow, and I've just changed, and I, that's why I'm making a video because I'm talking about my new workflow, but I'll tell you my old workflow and show you why I changed. Uh, I used to use this. It was a Cyberlink screen recorder, and it came with my old video editing package called Power Director. I'm a Adobe Premiere Pro editor now, but what I would do was my setup would be the voice meter output would be the input device. I would start with this on, and you might hear a little dual microphone action, but I would use that to sync sound because I'd also be recording sound in Audacity. Now what I would do was I would record the tutorial, I'd export it from Audacity, bring it into Cubase, process the voiceover, export it from Cubase, and then mix the streams. My camera stream, the screen recording screen stream, and the voiceover stream. I'd mix them all together and use the voiceover th through Audacity that I'd processed in Cubase as the main voiceover, and then the screen recorder would be recording the Cubase sounds, and then I'd edit it from there. But that's way too laborious, so I've cut out the Cyberlink screen recorder and Audacity out of the process and Cubase out of the process because I'm doing my voiceover processing in Premiere now. Uh, because Premiere supports VST plugins, and I'm doing my screen recorder with a package called OBS, the Online Broadcaster Studio. It's free uh, and open source. It's at obsproject.com, I believe. You'll have to you'll have to Google it. I don't actually have. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know. But what I have here is I have an audio setup. The audio setup is my mic, which is uh, through my interface using the Focusrite's driver, and that's being recorded. Voice meter is being recorded. So if I play. Cubase. And you can see that my mic up here is independent of this voice meter. But what I like most about OBS is that in the settings here, for output recording, you can have multiple tracks assigned. So you see here audio track one and two. So what I do is I put my voice over on track one and I put the voice meter output or the Cubase output on track two. And then when I pull it in Premiere after the fact to edit it all together, 
here's the intro. Here's the screen recording. And here is my face cam, as the kids say. Now, I just highlight all these and I synchronize by audio. The synchronization happens immediately. Then I have both of these tracks independently to work with. And I actually record just in mono, or it's in stereo, but on one side, and then I use audio channels here in Premiere to move both of them to the left side. And then what I'll do is, channel I often do. I'll normalize this to like negative one or something, and then I'll apply a preset uh, of Waves plugins to my voiceover that are similar to the voiceover preset that I showed you in Cubase. Do tutorials about how to make music, and one of those, and here is the intro. Uh, and part of that involves showing you how to do things. In so with just minimal amount of processing, I have a workable voiceover track, and I have here, workable Cubase audio. And it's all possible because here in, because here in uh, OBS, you can go to advanced audio properties and I have voice meter recording on track two and my microphone recording on track one and I get separation of the tracks. This cuts out the need to use Cyberlink Screen Recorder and Audacity and Cubase in my tutorial process. So this is just quickly how I route sound out of my DAW into a screen recorder using the package voice meter and then how I handle and my new way of handling audio in my tutorials using just Premiere and third-party plugins. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.